Today I have some new Zinni Dories to share with you guys. As I'm sure you're aware by now, I have a little collection of Zinni Dories. This was the first ever Zinni Dory I got. This one doesn't have the logo on the spine. It has the pockets same and the logo on the inside. And it also has a pocket at the back. So this is where the Zinni Dory started. And then Zinnia brought out more colours and she also added her logo to the spine. So I do have videos on both of those, which I'll leave linked below if you want to go and have a look. The ones I'm showing you today are new colours and these ones also have a new feature as well. As always with these videos, I'll have links below to the website where you can buy them. I do also have a discount code for you guys. You can use the code RAINBOWCOW, which will get you 15% off. But yeah, so she sent me two to share with you. One in the regular size and then one in the personal size. So this one is the personal size, which is the same as this one. This one is Blue Lake for anyone who's interested and this charm was from Geraldine's shop. This one is called Tiffany Green. In the viewfinder, it does look like it's picking up more of a blue, but it's definitely more on the green side of turquoise. It is a really beautiful color, that's why I chose it. I love my blues and turquoises and stuff. So on the spine, it has her logo. On the inside, it has her logo as well. It has the completely unique Zinni Dory pockets and then it has a pocket at the back as well and then one of the new features on these Zinni Dories is a pen loop. I'm not sure about pen size, it looks like a pretty big loop so yeah this one slides in and out pretty easy. I have a feeling Coletto's, okay the Coletto pens fit perfectly in them, like they're not too tight but they're not too loose like that's not gonna fall out. <laughs> I have found that the Zinni Dory personal size is very slightly different to the generic personal size traveler's notebooks. So for example, this is another personal size that I got as a gift. And as you can see, the Zinni Dory is very slightly shorter. The only difference that makes is the personal size inserts fit in the Zinni Dory perfectly. Like they don't overhang. These aren't personal size inserts. These are just, I don't know what size these are. These are just notebooks that I got from DK Maxx, but yeah actual personal size inserts will fit like right up to the edge of the Zinni Dory. So yeah, that's the personal size one. And as always, there's four elastics in here. I tend to use it as three elastics and keep the middle one like as one. I tend to have really chunky inserts. So yeah, I don't really have space for four inserts. I then chose this one, which is Blue Lagoon. I chose this one because in the regular size, I have a silver, I have the tangerine, and I have the raspberry. I don't really have any blue colors, so I decided to go for a blue one. So like the other ones, it has the logo on the spine. There's the other logo on the inside. It has the really funky pockets, it has the pocket at the back. And then this one has a pen loop as well. And I'm pretty sure this will be the same size. Yeah, Coletto pen fits in there perfectly. So pen loops are the same size on both of the personal size and the regular size. Again, there is four elastics. I currently have my creative journal in my raspberry one. I had it in the tangerine for ever, pretty much. I've had it in there for months. I decided to put it in the raspberry one when I got this dashboard from Geraldine, just because the yellow went with the pink better than it did with the tangerine. But I think I'm gonna move it into this one because the pom-pom dashboard does go with this color so well. <laughs> I absolutely love this combination. That is my current creative journaling insert. And then at the moment, I tend to just put an empty insert in at the back just for like holding stuff or if I need something to doodle in. It's kind of just like a random insert that I can use for whatever. Pockets wise, I've always said that I prefer the upright pockets. I don't mind the horizontal ones, but I just find them harder to decorate and like fill up. I did pop some stuff in the pockets of this one. So I put some washi samples in there. I've got some journaling cards and then I have some more kind of journaling cards in the back. I think because when you put stuff in it like this, it's always up the wrong way. <laughs> That's like my only kind of I suppose pet peeve really, it's not like a problem at all. I do sometimes use it for practical reasons. So if I have spare photos or if there's something that I know I want to journal and I don't want to lose it, um, I will pop it in there. But yeah, that's just a personal preference. So one of the things I love about Zinni Dories is how they feel. Whenever I take my Zinni Dories to an event or like a planner meetup, I think that's one of the first things that people say is, oh my God, it feels so cool. The weight of the cover helps when you have not so many inserts in them. Um, it still feels kind of like a chunky TN. So if you like the chunky feel of a TN, but you don't like stuffing it, the Zinni Dory is definitely one to consider. I found that the textures of each of them, each of the colors are very slightly different. I don't know how well these will pick up on camera. Um, they're all really smooth, but this one has like a smooth look to it. This one you can see is kind of like metallic-y. The Zinni Dories are made from PU leather, which is fake leather. They're definitely one of the best faux leather 
other TNs on the market. So yeah, those are my new Zinni Dories. I think you guys have gathered by now that I do love the Zinni Dory. So if you are interested in getting your hands on a Zinni Dory, Zinnia has just released a load of new colours. I think my personal favourite will always be the raspberry. I just love this pink. It is my kind of pink. I do love this green though, this Tiffany green. I think that's going to be a close second. So yeah, make sure you check out the link below to where you can buy a Zinni Dory. I'll leave direct links to both sizes. And also don't forget to use the discount code as well. If you have any questions, then let me know below and I'll get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.